What's up everyone? Uh, I just want to start the video off by saying welcome back. Hope you all had a great weekend. Um, today I'm going to be uh, taking you guys on my computer and we're going to be looking at some areas around Indianapolis that I think are up and coming um, or on the second half of up and coming and I have a lot of potential to find a wholesale deal in. Um, I'm also going to take you guys on uh, Realtor.com. I'm going to show you a few filters I think are really cool. Um, that I, it's part of my due diligence process when I come back from driving for dollars. Um, I just come in on my computer and I, t I like go through all this. I'll show you guys everything. Um, I just go through this whole process. It's one of the parts I do. Um, and then also I'm going to show you guys this platform I found. Well, it's a website. Uh, it's kind of like a platform. Um, I found it a while ago on an ad and then it just popped up again and I just started to get back into it. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys that. I think it could be a very valuable tool uh, to any wholesalers or agents or really anyone investing or anyone interested in investing um, to check out and see what the whole community is about. So that's really cool. So I'm going to take you guys on that. Um, stay tuned for the video, guys. Okay, guys. So what's up? Hope everyone's having a good day. And... Hope everyone had a good weekend um, this past weekend. Uh, so I just wanted to say I'm going to make a quick video real quick. Uh, I'm going to walk through some things that I do. Um, once I go driving for dollars and I get back home, um, this is kind of what I do every single time. Just to Because, uh, you know, really when you're driving around, you can only see the area during the day that you're there, the time that you're there. Um, so I try to see what the crime has been uh, in the past days. Um you know, how many calls I get, uh, what the noise is like, um, transit, things like that, uh, flooding as well. So normally what I do uh, is I go on to realtor.com. Um, I think this is the best one because this is really the only uh, one I, that I know of that has this filter. Uh, so just say Butler Tarkington uh, area, which is over by Butler in the Indianapolis area if you're not uh, familiar with that. So just off the just off the bat, um, these are the homes that are for sale with the agent. Uh, so really, I just want to show you guys what I do when I get home, and then also I want to show you some up and coming areas in, the, uh, in Indianapolis that I think will have a lot of potential to find some wholesale deals. Um, so I'm just gonna click on this one, even though it's already pending. I'm just gonna click on this one, um, and then you're gonna go to the map section over here. Okay, guys. So you got you guys can zoom out. That's where the house is at. This is right by Butler Tarkington. Um, so last time I was driving for dollars, uh, this is 38th Street. This is like Crown Hill Cemetery. Um, Butler University is up here. So the street that I was looking at was Capitol Avenue. So that is this street right here. The homes I was looking at on the second Dragon for Dollars video was right here. This street. And I drove all around this area. Um, so the cool thing I figured out about Realtor.com, uh, up here in this top bar, uh, schools, crime, noise, flood, lifestyle, and transit. So just for this particular house and also this particular area uh, that I see um, people buying in down here. Uh, also, Mapleton, Fall Creek, Watson McCord, like this whole area uh, west of Fall Creek um, is starting to, even though this is here in a second, I'll show you guys the flood. This is like a flooding area. Um, but this area right here, I see some people doing work in Mapleton, Fall Creek, especially mo for the most part uh, up towards the upper part. Um, and then it flows into, um, this is Murdy and Kessler area uh, right here, this whole block. Uh, this is Meridian Kessler. So this area is actually really nice. Up, like pretty much all up through here, um, is more expensive. There are still some homes, like some pockets, a couple of streets of homes that need to be worked on. Uh, probably like up in this area, and then this is the fairground. So like up over here, like this kind of middle part, because really a lot of the expensive homes are like in this little sl sliver in between College and Meridian, from 38th Street, essentially all the way up all the way up to here, all the way up through Park Tudor, Meridian Hills, all the way up, <laughs> like essentially all the way up into Carmel. There's some nice homes. Williams Creek uh, right here is exceptionally nice. 
Um, all right, so moving on back over here by Butler. This is where I was driving for dollars all through here. Uh, the one deal I found was like right in here. Um, Butler, all sororities go like right around along this strip. There's a Sunset Avenue has a lot of nice restaurants and some little buffets and stuff. So if I go to uh, schools, you can rate it uh, private, whatever, all the way up to public. And it shows you all the schools in the area. Um, so this is cool. So if you're looking um, for someone, an investor that primarily works with family homes, um, like three bedroom and up, um, four bedroom and up, then you can see where some of the schools are in the area. You can also see the rating of how good they are because a lot of these down here are public schools. Pretty much all of them are public schools. Uh, there's a, a few private schools, but um, you can look into that. Crime, this is like the main thing I do. So when I'm done driving for dollars, I'll come back here, uh, get the uh, log off of my deal stream um, or deal machine app or prop stream. And then I type in the addresses on realtor.com and I come in here and I see where all the crime's at. Uh, but really this, I would just take this with a grain of salt, guys, because even though that like down here, you can see the chart, it says low is like this cream color. And then high is like this dark red, kind of orangish. Um, it doesn't really ha say what type of crime it is. So I believe that this is just where they get the most calls. Like the like these areas where they get the most calls out of. So that could be just for like disturbances, you know, like a lot of pretty much anything from like someone ding dong ditching you all the way to like someone getting murdered. So really that's, this is where they get the most calls from because it doesn't really say what areas um, violent crimes happening in, but for the most part, I know, and a lot of people in Indy know, violent crime happens over here, south of Lawrence, um, right around here, like these few blocks, right, like Post Road, Post Road's like right here, and like 42nd and Post Road, this intersection anchors like the worst part in Indy, pretty much. This part right here is terrible. Um, down through here is pretty bad. Grace Tuxedo Park, uh, is kind of up and coming because it's right next to Irving Historic District, and I've heard a lot of great things about this area. You can even see that little sliver right there has like no crime, but this area is pretty bad just because it's like <laughs> um, east of the downtown. Um, and then also Hawville, this is probably like one of the worst areas like in Indiana, like as a whole, besides Gary, like this area right here and maybe Terre Haute too, but this area right here is terrible. Um, I know that there is a lot of people buying and fixing over here, like IUPUI campus is like right here. I believe so there's probably a lot of student housing but like i wouldn't go pat like deep into here because up here is a speedway and this kind of area like isn't the best either like eagle dale um like west of crown hill this area is not too good like right past the interstate um but i do see some people investing their money like in this part right here and then like right around the children's museum like even in this red area i've seen some um people's been, people have been investing their money there uh, but for the most part, I believe it's like Fall Creek. Like, let me zoom in here. So right here, this sliver right here is the old north side. This is like really nice right here. This is, I used to have a buddy. His parents lived over here. Um, this is a really nice area. And then like up in here, this is, there's a lot of like million dollar homes, like 700. I would say like maybe high 400s and up to like $1.2 million is these homes right here, even some like up in this little crook. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I want to show you guys on here. And this is what I do just every single time I find a deal. Um, I go on here to see what the crime's like. And then you can even see the noise. Um, where the, where a lot of noise is at. If you zoom in, it probably echoes out a little bit. Guess not, but it shows low and high. And mo most of it, like if you're around the interstate, like you're going to hear the interstate. Like, even when you're down by Butler, you can hear, like, Michigan Road and, like, this, like, half of the interstate. Like, right here, you can hear. Um, so, that's a nice one to see as well. Also, another one that's a big one is Flood. Like, when you're wholesaling or even if you're an agent and you're looking around, well, I would hope if you're an agent, you're doing it. But people that are wholesaling and just looking to invest their money, like, maybe they don't have any experience and they're just looking to – find someone that does have experience and they're like, okay, here's like $80,000. Uh, let's put a plan, put a plan together and find something to flip. Uh, they don't really look into flooding. 
So flooding is a big one. Like this whole area right here gets a lot of flood. This is considered Rocky Ripple uh, up in this little like 52nd and north. Crow's Nest is really nice. Pretty much just because we have right, White River go through like the whole Indianapolis area, uh, it causes some flooding. And like these parts right here where it's like complex, and it's all like twisted and stuff. It's a big one. Ravenswood, this area, uh, there are some nice homes that are getting remodeled and um, rehabbed over here. But for the most part, um, like all this water, since it's pretty much, it kind of looks like a mitten, I would say. Um, it's sandwiched in between like this whole White River area. So like water is going to flood like from here into like in through here. And it just fills up this whole area. I'm like, no, I don't even know why they allowed people to build here because none of these homes really are on stilts. Like if you look at houses in South Carolina or North Carolina, like they're all like probably like eight feet or like 10 feet off the ground on stilts. So if a flood does happen, it's not getting on the bottom, like on the foundation part. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why they let people build there, but that like, all this muck and nasty stuff in the river like flows into here and then it gets caught all the trash and stuff gets caught on people's cars. It gets caught on people's homes, like the trees. And it's just this area. It's not a bad area because there is a lot of nature and there's a lot of trees and it like, it's a really cool in the fall and in the summer and stuff. But like when it comes to winter, it just looks honestly disgusting. <laughs> um, it just doesn't look too appealing to people, but there are some people doing work in those areas um lifestyle this you can just filter out all these and then transit um you can see the bike lanes and stuff the monon uh is like the big one i believe this is the monon trail right here yeah i think that's the monon um so yeah you guys can see that so this is really what i like to do i just come in here once i find something that could potentially be a deal um, see the crime, the flood, and just what it's like, things that I can't really see on a daily basis. Um, so that's a good thing I recommend you guys do, uh, realtor.com, you know, free, very simple to use. Um, the other one I wanted to show you guys was uh, Connected Investors. So this is actually a uh, web page I found. I was listening to music on my phone, um, and it was just an ad that popped up. Uh, it's just an ad that popped up. Um, so this one is mostly for people that are flipping or rehabbing or people that are trying to buy a house um, to rent out. So like pretty much all investors, but it's mainly to find lenders. So private money lenders, hard money lenders, uh, you can network with people, stuff like that. Um, so this is the main page right here and you can see it just shows like flip rental my home. You can get analysis on your home. Um, shows all this stuff, apply, choose, close, probably definitely not that simple, but you get the idea. Um, choose your partner. You know, you can, it shows you a list. It's pretty much like finding a car or even on Redfin or whatever you Zillow, you type in what you're looking for and then it pairs you with people that meet your criteria, except this side is the lenders and the people that have the money to do it. So I'm just going to go to, um, this is just a Excel sheet. Um, so that's just like the back page. So I'm going to go to connected investors, uh, type it in Google. So this one, the CIX, this is just like their landing page. And like, like if you don't have an account, this is where you go. But this right here, connectinginvestors.com, this is the main account. So this is like the back page of it. Um, private lenders, pre MLS deals, uh, real estate investors. So you can do like networking and stuff has all the testimonials and things like that, some things like that. So I'm going to log in. Um, you guys can sign up over here. I already have an account. I've been on this for probably a year or two. Uh, I haven't really been using it that much. Um, I kind of forgot about it, to be honest, because I, I did find this app. I mean, I did hear about this a while ago uh, on an ad, and then I just recently saw the ad again. So I was just like, hey, might as well check it out now that I'm trying to start wholesaling. Um so yeah, so this is what you guys will see if you guys can see my cursor. Uh, so right here, you would just type in right here, what can I help you with? Do what you're doing, blah, 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 fix and flip. Click that. Um, or these are the forms you post. What This is like your title, what you need help with. And then you can click like 
I guess you can't click as many as you want, but you can probably just copy and paste it into all these uh, if it's necessary. Um, and then down here, this is kind of like a Facebook setup where you have people with their postings. It's so like once you post something up here, it turns into this. Um, so you can see like what they're looking for. You can like and comment on there. Um, you know, you can like go down here and see what's going on with it, where he's from, what he's looking for. This is like the stream of all the people. I believe that this guy's the owner as well. You'll probably see his photo a lot. He pops up. Um, so you guys can just uh, get this and fidget around with it for a little bit. If you go to marketplace, you can type get funding. If you go to get funding, it's just going to take us right back to that last page we were on. Um, so you can just go to flip. If you're looking for a flip, you go to flip. Type in, go through this questionnaire, blah, blah, blah. It asks you, uh, what are you looking for? How much money do you have to put down out of pocket? The higher amount of money, guys, you put down out of pocket, you are going to get better lenders um, to see your to see what you're looking for. Um, so you can do that. And then find property. This is kind of their thing to Zillow, I would say. You could type in an address. So I'll just type in um, Noblesville, Noblesville, Indiana. <laughs> See what pops up over here you can see that it just shows all the older ones they've already had um so there might not be anything from noble Zero. okay so that's not working i'm just going to show you guys this way so you know you have all these over here um just say i'm gonna click on this one uh, so once you click on one, this is like other people that have posted it. So it tells you the address, Terre Haute, how much equity they have, the list price they're asking for, um, the repair value, and then two beds, one bath, uh, shows you who's selling it. You can uh, message them, get funding, make an offer, do all that, it show it race the deal. So this is kind of nice. The orange one right here is the rehab effort. And then this green one is the value score of uh, the value of the home. Confidence, I believe this is uh, confidence to get your money back. Tax value, uh, price and confidence score, yep. A little uh, description about it. So this is literally just like a stat sheet like Zillow would show you. Shows you where it's at. Um, and then these are some other homes in the area uh, that might have already sold. Um, that's not right. Okay, so uh, that's that. This little section... Um, and then you can go back over here and you can uh, list. So like if you have a property that you already have, you can type it in here, type your price, um, the role, what you're doing with it, who you are. Um, my listings, I don't have any listings right now, but this is where they would be at uh, over here offers. So if I were to make an offer on a property or someone were to make an offer uh, on a property I had listed, any discussions that I have, it's going to differentiate them and put them on here. Community, this is a good one. So if you go to feed, this is going to go back to that main page, uh, kind of like the Facebook setup. Um, uh, so this one, there's forums. And then over here, you can go to members, groups. You can add groups, add friends, read articles. They have a lot of cool articles. It's going to take you to another page. Um, so I don't want to do that right now. But you can read the articles. Uh, you can go over here. Uh, this shows you your friend request, you know, messages you have, um, notifications. This one is properties that you've liked, activity, like things that you've commented on, stuff like that, discussions you've started in private. Um, this one over here, I believe, this is where you can pay for some stuff uh, if you want to. It's kind of expensive. You got 1900 a year, 814 a year, and you can see the check marks of what the difference is, what they offer, things like that. Um, so I'm going to go to community and go to groups. Um, so this is really cool. You guys can type in, uh, the location you're in and any keywords you want to add. So how wholesale agent, investor fix, fix and flip, things like that. Um, so you can see what people are posting and talk to them. You can start a conversation. This is a good way to network guys, um, with people that you don't know yet. Oh, uh, that's not, that's a, uh, I'm going to find, there was an area when I was on here earlier that had, um, a whole bunch of like forums on it already. I don't think it's smart forum. 
Um, there was a whole bunch of articles put together for people. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a discussions. So there's 33,000 discussions. You can uh, like it to watch it. I have wholesaling uh, liked. You can see all this stuff. There's a lot of good information on here, guys. Fix and flips. Uh, bird dogs, this is what I do. Um, aside from wholesaling for an investor, um, I'll make another video on bird dogging. Um, so this is all like they have also discussions on like buying money or buying homes with Bitcoin, multifamily, gurus, a whole, pretty much a whole anything you can think of. And like 259, there's 259 of these individual ones. So that's pretty cool to try to find some information on. Um, I'm not really sure how many people actually know about this website because I found I found it a while ago and I, I think it's starting to ramp up a little bit more than what it was when it first started. Um, so that's nice. Let's just go to groups. Or, uh, I'll go to articles. You can start your own group as well. Um, so this right here is services. You can see what they fix, flip, figure, blah, blah, 4S. Um, this might be the real estate forum community. Uh, if you have an account, I would suggest uh, looking through this. And if you don't have an account, I would suggest creating one. Um, so this is just something I wanted to show you guys real quick. Uh, it's kind of like a bigger pockets, social media, networking platform combined all into one. Um, so it's really nice uh, to look into that. So yeah, guys, that's all I wanted to show you for today. Um, I did want to mention that um, on my last video that I made, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the people I tried to call for the first driving for dollars, um, the homes I went and looked at, for some reason, the first one, like the first two calls I had, uh, my camera wasn't working right. And then the last three that I called, uh, one of them, I just got pretty much hung up on the other one. Like I didn't really get yelled at, but they were pretty aggressive with me um, saying that people have been calling them a lot and that they already, they don't really want to do anything with the home. They're waiting. So that's understandable. Um, so just be aware of that. That's why I wanted to record it so you guys could actually see what these people are like and how everything works from start to finish. Um, so I am right now about, I'm in probably two and a half, three weeks in. I haven't found a deal yet, but I do know people, I'm not really stressing too hard because I want to find a good deal. Um, there are people I know that have been wholesaling and it took them, you know, six, seven months to find a deal. So, you know, I'm still uh, optimistic. I'm, I'm just waiting for the, for the right one that I find. Um, I am been I have been doing a lot of work and trying to really wrap my head around all this and get all the knowledge I possibly can. Um, that's why I like making these videos for you guys, so you guys can just see it in a short little video, um, and you're not actually seeing like all the stuff I'm doing uh, behind the scenes. But yeah, so I just want to uh, I just want to let you guys see that. I just want to thank everyone uh, for watching the video. Go ahead and be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, comment, send me an email. Uh, do anything if you need my any information from me. If you need any help with anything, I'm, I'm always down to help you guys. Um, so go ahead and do that. And then be sure to turn the notification bell on so you guys can see all the up and coming videos that I will be having that I will be posting here soon. Um, so I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Have a good rest of your week.